Hey, what is good, gang? Gang, it's your boy Capone bringing y'all the latest news of NBA 2K19. As you all know, 2K19 NBA play ratings have been slowly leaking on Twitter and gameplay as well. So y'all know I have to get the drop for you guys. But man, 2K19, I hope it has a promising year. As far as we can tell, graphics has definitely improved gameplay-wise. And this year, 2K has changed a lot of its graphics, such as the box scores, the loading screens, and the halftime reports. But honestly, that isn't surprised to us at all. 2K usually always finds a way to make the graphics stand up from previous years, so... The only problem us fans usually have is just with the gameplay itself and not the graphics. So, if they could slightly change some things from last year, this game could possibly be a masterpiece, but maybe I'm reaching. I don't know. But, I do want to give a shout out to Cash Nasty for this gameplay. This probably, this is probably the best character gameplay out right now that was released from a bigger YouTuber. For those who don't know too much about 2K, Ronnie usually hosts a 2K community event every year for all these big 2K YouTubers where they get to have the first look at the new 2K and get to play them first hand. Which is kind of dope, but let's get into what we really want to know. NBA player ratings. They got my guy Jason Tatum, Ben Simmons, and Donovan Mitchell sitting at an 87 overall this year. I know a lot of people are complaining about Ben Simmons overall saying he's a, he should be a 90, but let's be real. These players definitely deserve an 87 for so many reasons. And honestly, just because Ben Simmons got rookie of the year doesn't make him better than any of these other guys. And that's just my opinion, to be honest. But hey, I thought Donovan Mitchell deserved it, and I don't know. I think he kind of got robbed. But 87, I can't complain about that. Jason Tatum, Ben Simmons, and Donovan Mitchell definitely made a statement last year. And I think that I think that fits for the time being. Next, we got LeBron James sitting at a 98. And I can't complain really, but I would say LeBron James should be a 99. Ronnie has already came out and made a statement saying that only the legends are 99, such as Michael Jordan. But realistically, LeBron should be a 99. It's not surprising that they're robbing him anymore. Like, it, they just always do that to him. Next, we got Kawhi Leonard at a 94 overall. And honestly, I'm surprised. Dude only played like 7 games last year and only dropped down 1 point in the rating system. Which is kind of ridiculous, honestly. And that's just what a superstar status gets you. Which brings us to our next player, Anthony Davis. Now, I don't want to be the one to say this, but Anthony Davis deserves at least a 96 overall. If you're telling me an injured Kawhi Leonard is better than a healthy Anthony Davis, then you don't know ball to me. I, I can't speak with you. Anthony Davis balled through the playoffs, and he was the only, only player who could really score on the Pelicans. He deserves at least a 96. I don't know. I don't know. He deserves at least a 96. If Kawhi Leonard is a 94, he deserves a 96. Come on. Next, we got a player who is completely debatable to me right now. Paul George. We all know OKC just came off a terrible season. Everybody had pretty high expectations, but these dudes couldn't even get past the first round with some Hall of Famers. Against a rookie, Donovan Mitchell, who had just carried the Jazz to the second round after losing their main star, Gordon Hayward, the previous year. Don't get me wrong, Paul George is a great player, but after last year's performance, he has to be at least an 85-86 for me. To put him above Donovan Mitchell, and they couldn't even beat him, would be a slap to the face because we all know Paul George and Carmelo Anthony never showed up to the playoffs this year, never mind the regular season. Next we have Kimba Walker sitting with the overall 86. Now 86 isn't too bad, but it is debatable for me. Kimba Walker has been carrying this team since he got drafted out of UConn couple more pieces and maybe he's looking to make some more noise but 86 I mean I guess it can, I could deal with that next few guys I'm gonna leave your opinion up to you they have Dame Dollar 90 overall Carl Anthony Towns 91 overall DeMar DeRozan 89 overall and DeMarcus Cousins 90 overall now I don't have an issue with any of these because I do believe they're pretty accurate I know some might argue DeMar DeRozan deserves a 90 or DeMarcus Cousins Cousins deserves less because his injury and everything that's been going on but personally I agree with this because truthfully although DeMarcus Cousins did Anthony Davis dirty he's still a great player who can drop 40 on any given night as for DeMar DeRozan he's a great player as well but I still feel like something's missing with him whether it's him developing his shot more or just getting over that playoff hump beating LeBron James I don't know but I think 89 definitely suits him better as for Dame Dollar, I think his overall is respectable, and I think a lot of y'all would agree. He's been carrying the Blazers for a while now, and he's been doing some crazy things with them, so I think 90 definitely fits him. Without Dame or CJ, the Blazers would just be another trash team in the league, and I'm pretty sure everybody agrees with that. Lastly, for Carl Anthony Towns, I would say he probably deserves a 92, because he is one of the best bigs in our leagues today, along with Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid, and people like that but 91 isn't too bad I guess he definitely has a lot of room to grow 
So that's why I wouldn't really put them in that same category at with uh, Anthony Davis and Joel Embiid because I feel like they're just on a, another level. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button for more 2K videos. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's been your boy Capone and I'm out guys. Peace.